The coming months will see the launching of the mascot, trophy and the balls that will be used during the tournament. The Tri-Nation series between the PNG Women's Under-20 and USA and Japan is expected to be an exciting build-up for the local organizing committee. A team of host broadcasters, including FIFA TV, are in the country to map out the best possible camera positions for the telecast of the tournament. This is a technical visit for FIFA TV to um, make the final technical solution for all four of the stadiums for the Under-20 Women's World Cup. And uh, we're basically going through each camera position, broadcast compounds, uh, working out cabling routes, and, and the final setup of each broadcasting uh, platform in, uh, in the stadium. It's very important for them because they will be running the broadcasting coverage of the matches to 100 countries around the world. The team comprises of representatives of host broadcaster services, Media Pro and Television, who are the transmission service providers to the host broadcasters and FIFA TV. Uh, it's important because this is the way everyone in the world gets to see these games uh, that are being played in Papua New Guinea. They'll be on in the United States, they'll be on in Europe, they'll be on in Japan, Korea, wherever the games are being uh, uh, televised. This is the window to the to the world watching these games. So it's important that we get it right and we put the games and Papua New Guinea in, in the best light. So far, they have visited Sir John Guy Stadium and the National Football Stadium, and they will inspect potential international broadcasting center sites. The team will also be meeting with MTV, who have the broadcasting rights to telecast the tournament within PNG and Telecom PNG. An estimated 200 million viewers will be watching the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup from 100 countries worldwide. The FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup will be held from November 13th to December the 3rd. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.